This video is going to show how you could use Photoshop similar to Illustrator with mini artboards and um, especially work on a campaign where you might be using the same assets in different artboards of different sizes. All right, so I have a photograph here and I know that this is the image I'm gonna use in lots of my projects. So I'm going to go into image size and I know that I'm going to be working in print so I want 300 dpi as well as in um, on the web and so I um, am going to design everything at 300 so that I can um, print anything I design show it in PowerPoint and I'll have enough resolution so first step my Photoshop document is now going to be 300 dpi. So this is a traditional Photoshop document. We don't see any artboards. One way you can take a JPEG and turn it into an artboard is to unlock the layer and then you can right click and you can say artboard from layers. You can name your artboard. So I'm going to call this photo. Say OK. So now I can see that I have a layered artboard. It's named over here in my layers panel. So I have this tool, it's the artboard tool. You can get to it with V as well. All right, when I click it, if I have an artboard selected, it creates these icons for plus um, on every edge of my image. And if I click plus, it creates a new artboard, the same dimensions, not with the same content on it. So this would allow me to start to create, if I zoom out, um, many artboards where I could try lots of different ideas. So this is a, a great way of when you're designing to see um, to see your different variations and allow you to iterate. Now if I select an artboard, the text will become bold. It also is selecting in my layers. With it selecting, selected, I can click delete on my keyboard and I can delete artboards as well. All right, with the artboard tool, I can also in my background draw an artboard. Once the artboard is selected, up at the top, I have options for its size. So in this case, I know I'm going to be designing for a letter eight and a half by 11. So I can put in 8.5 inches and height 11 inches return. And I now have an artboard that size. I can also click in to the words when they are um, in the layers panel and I can say letter. All right, um, you can switch sizes. So I'm using units of inches right now, but I know I'm going to do some web ads as well. So for one of my web ads, I just drew a horizontal rectangle and I can now type in so I know this width is going to be 728 px for pixels and you can see it automatically changes to what that is in inches and I have 90 pixels so you can see that this is a much smaller um, artboard than um, uh, the letter size okay um, so you can move artboards around by moving uh, by using the move tool and you can grab um, where the title is. That's how you grab the artboard itself instead of content. Um, so you can make additional sizes. So I know I'm going to be doing a 300 pixel by 600 pixel. And again, I can switch over to my move arrow if I wanna stack it along. Um, with the artboard selected, I can make additional ones so that I could practice and um, try multiple designs. Same thing, I can make more above. So you can kind of create your workspace as you would uh, want it set up. You can put all of your assets in and this allows you to see all of your pieces as one large campaign. Um, also, let's say I have a layer I can still use the so duplicate. I'm holding down the option. If I drag it over to another artboard, you can see how I can move the pieces into um, different artboards. Within those artboards, I can still scale. And this is how you can start to see how you would experiment with um, how you're designing a campaign 
a consistent campaign across many different formats. And you can also drag items in your layers so each artboard is its own um, foldered layer area as well. All right, so I hope this helps you see how you can use artboards in Photoshop um, instead of just the traditional Photoshop document um, format.